All right, today I'm showing you how to do tabby weave. Get a good amount of yarn and completely cut it. And we'll get back to our yarn when we need more. So, to start, you just tie it on your first string. And you want a bit of a tail so that you can weave it in later. And you really just need a basic knot. Nothing too crazy. Alright. Find the other end. And I'm going to use this really long needle. And I'm just going to pull quite a bit through so that I don't have to go as much back and forth. To start, you just start bringing your needle through your strings. So kind of every other string, you go forward or behind. And then you just bring all your yarn through. You really could do a shorter amount of yarn. Doesn't really matter uh, how much yarn you do at once. And then you just carry on. I'm going to try and make this needle go all the way through. And then what you want to do is you don't want it too tight. This is where a lot of people start warping the shape of their tapestry. So you want it, you know, tight enough that it's not loose, but not too tight where it's going to warp. And you want to make a nice U like that. And then you just take your comb and you just beat your rows down, as they call it. And then you just make your way back doing the opposite you did last time. So I'm going to go behind the ones that were forward. Okay. I'm just double checking that it is behind the string. And again, just trying to make it tight, not too tight, and then bring it down in a U. And push your string down. That is the basic tabby weave. I'll go ahead and do this a few more times just so you can get the hang of it. I am pulling in stuff everywhere today. Alright, so I got too close so I'm bringing my string up so you really want to make a U so that your string does not get too tight. All right, yep, in the right. See this like kind of got a little too loose on that end. I'm going to go ahead and just tighten it up. If you can, you want to fix mistakes as they happen because when you do a few rows and you notice a mistake, you either got to undo your rows, which I've been there many times, or you make it work somehow. It's really your two options. That looks good. Okay. 
tight but not too tight. Starting to pull kind of my back track so that it's not going to warp my strings here. All right, so there's a few rows of tabby. I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to work your string in. It's always kind of good to do it as you're weaving because once you're done with the project, last thing you wanna do is go back to weave in all your ends. So flip over your loom. I'm gonna take my shorter needle and string it. And you just want to work in through the back side. Just kind of weave it in a little. And then I was going to tie a fairly loose knot. Okay, looping it back through like that. Kind of tighten it, but you don't need it that tight. Just gonna do a little second knot here, get on a little tighter. And then, actually, I'm gonna weave it in one more. To hide that tail. And then, you just give it a little trim. Can't even tell that there was a string there now. Okay, and you can kind of see how the strings are poking through. You just want to take your comb and push your strings down more so that they're tighter. You know, if that is the look you're going for. I do like a more uniform, traditional weave. So that's what I'm going to be showing you mostly. All right, and that's how you tabby.